Hey guys, Foil Legends, we are back. And oh my goodness, we've got all these Axis wings to get through. Remember it wasn't so long ago, I got the big mother load delivery from Axis with all the new BSC, the PNG, and also the HPS wings. So since then, been copying a lot of questions from you guys and you all want the answers and you want the scoop on what is good and what's not. So grab yourself a coffee. We're gonna jump right into it today and we're gonna get to the bottom of it. So let's do this. All right guys, it's good to be back. Thanks for joining us again. And if you're new around here, thanks for stopping by. Hit the subscribe button. And if there's anything you see in this video, you got further questions or you want some more info, drop a comment, shoot me a message, um, and we'll get to the bottom of it for sure. So, all right, thanks for tuning in. The Axis mother load, we've got PNGs, we've got BSCs, we've got HPS. It was really hard for me to uh, gather enough information to put this video together. There's so much gear. I really wanted to ride all of it and test it properly so I could give you guys proper answers. So I'm gonna go through this video and pretty much answer most of the questions that I've been getting from you guys. Um, a lot of it relates to uh, the different series of wings here between the HPS and the BSC, uh, which ones are good for winging, which ones are better suited to prone, which ones are best suited for beginners. And as I've said before, you do not need all of these wings, but you definitely need some of them. So let's figure out which ones. Okay, so a bit about me. I'm a 64 kilo rider. I am a bit of a lightweight. That's around about 140 pounds. I've been foiling for around three years. Um, Axis have been looking after me for the last couple of years. So really grateful for that. It's so good to have the opportunity to try out all of this amazing equipment. So. Um, a lot of the info that I give you will be relating to my size and my style of riding. I'm really into my prone foiling, pumping, linking waves. Um, I love wing foiling as well. So nowadays it's about 50-50. Um, so hopefully I've got enough info to help you guys choose what's best in this range for you. Okay, so I think it's really important that first we get an understanding of the different series within the Axis range. So we've got the PNG, which is the pump and glide series. We have the BSCs, which is the broad spectrum carve. And then we have the HPS, which is the high performance speed. So, okay, so let's start off with the PNG pump and glide series. Uh, this is something that I would absolutely recommend for people that are new to foiling. The benefit of these is that they are extremely stable and very predictable, which is definitely what you want when you're learning to foil. Uh, also really suitable for people that are not too concerned about high performance, but they want something that pumps really easy. They just want the stability. Perhaps you're learning to wing foil and you want something that's really predictable. The pump and glide series is probably a good place to start. Now this one here that I have in my hand is the 850. So it's an 1100 square centimeter wing, uh, plenty of juice there, plenty of pump power. So for me, I can prone ride this, I can wing foil it. It is absolutely an all rounder. Uh, you just can't go wrong with the PNG series. They are super predictable, really stable. They do what you want them to do. Um, a really good entry level. So if you're brand new to foiling and you're unsure of what type of wing to get, I think something like the PNG series would be absolutely ideal. So the big brother in the PNG series is the 910. And this one has evolved from one of Axis's old favourites, which was the 910 on the old Red Series. Uh, now it's been brought across to the Black Series, a much thinner profile, uh, still the same outline. Now, the 910 is a 1,267 square centimetre wing. This thing is absolutely epic. If you're a larger rider, if you're into sup foiling or light wind winging, this will give you plenty of early lift, which is great. And again, as I mentioned, the stability. So. Uh, as you're learning your balance with foiling, perhaps you're learning how to pump and you want something that's just totally on rails, these things will just keep you going in a beautiful straight line and just allow you to concentrate on your technique. So for those learning to pump and just learning foil in general, pump and glide series all day long. And the pump and glide series are available in quite a few larger sizes than what I have here. So obviously for me being a smaller rider, I really only need these couple of smaller sizes, but they do go right up for larger riders. So if you are a heavyweight or if you're riding SUP or super light wind winging, if you want to do beach starts and dock starts and things like that, the PNG wings have something for everybody. Okay, so the second set in the series is a broad spectrum carve, the BSC wings. And as the name suggests, an absolute all rounder wing. You can do it all on this, no problem at all. If there was only one series in the Axis lot that you were gonna ride, I would probably say the BSC will cover it all. Uh, from prone riding to wing foiling, you can do it all, easy to pump, super stable. They're very maneuverable, they do it all. So the BSCs is what I find myself riding 90% of the time. Um, I'm gonna jump right in and grab the 810 here. 
So for me doing most of my riding prone, the 810 is absolutely perfectly suited for somebody my size, um, pumping for days, super maneuverable. You can throw it around in the surf, very predictable. Um, the BSCs just do it all, like they're so good. This has got to be the best prone wing I reckon I've ever seen. Um, absolutely easy to pump and link up waves and really, really maneuverable. Um, you can throw this thing around in the surf and you know you can wing foil on it, no worries as well. More recently, my kids have been learning the foil. I've got two daughters, age 10 and 12. They're really lightweight. I've been throwing them on the BSC, no worries. They can handle it. They're learning still and it's just got enough stability for them. Early lift, um, very predictable again. The BSC range, especially if you're into your prone foiling, absolutely epic. So this is the larger of the BSCs that I have. It's the 890, which is 1290 square centimetres. Now this thing has plenty of wing, tons of lift. This is something I grab when I'm kind of feeling a little lazy and I just want to pump around. So I've been recommending this to people up around that 85, 90 kilo mark, if you're into your prone riding. Um, and people have been having heaps of success on this. A lot of people are loving the BSC 890. It's totally suited for the larger prone riders. If you're up around that 85 to 90 kilo mark, I would definitely consider trying to get a demo of the BSC 890. It is absolutely perfect for a prone rider. Okay, then we have this little rocket. And this thing came as a little bit of a surprise for me. This is the BSC 740. And when I first looked at it, I mean, it's only 880 square centimetres. I thought this thing was gonna be pretty small. So the first time I tried it was actually wing foiling and it worked really good. It's got that early lift, which is great for winging. Um, great little fun wing. So then I started using it for my daughter, for her to learn a foil on. I set up a prone board for her and she started riding the BSC 740 prone. And I had a go of it one day. It was nice that she let me have a go of my own gear. And I actually found that this is an absolutely incredible prone wing for the lightweight guys like myself. Now, you can definitely still pump and link on this and the maneuverability on this thing is absolutely insane. It is so loose, it is so surfy. So as long as the conditions permit, if the waves are super clean, if there's not too much water moving and the pumping is easy, I'm now grabbing the BSC 740 as probably my new favorite prone wing. This thing is so surfy, so maneuverable, um, absolutely epic. So yeah, that thing came as a real surprise for me. So this has been getting a lot of use lately in my gear. I'm actually just having to fight my daughter for it. So um, I might have to hit up Axis for another one of these and we'll have to have one each. But yeah, the BSE 740, great all rounder. Um, high speed winging is great. Prone surfing for us lightweight guys. If you're into tow foiling, this would also be a really good option. So the BSC range really suited for people that are into their prone foiling. So if you're prone specific or if you lean more towards prone than any other style of riding, I'm recommending the BSC for you guys. Okay, so the next series of wings that we're gonna look at are the HPS series, the high performance speed. And one thing that has become evident to me is that these are the go-to for wing foiling, hands down. For me now, the HPS, 100% for winging. The BSCs are my prone wings. Um, it's that simple. So the HPS have just an unlimited top end and I know wing foilers, it's all about going fast. And so far I've not reached an upper limit with any of the HPS wings. So they'll just go faster and faster and they'll handle speed. So if it's bigger waves or if it's high speed winging, you've really got to go the HPS wings. And that's one of the most common questions that I've been getting from people is, do I go the HPS or the BSCs for prone foiling? So I've been lucky enough to try them both out and they both work absolutely. I find the BSC works a lot better for prone for me specifically because they are a little bit slower and they've got a little bit of earlier lift. So they actually allow you to stay in the power area of the, of the wave and ride the wave properly. Whereas the HPS, I find it actually maybe a little too fast for prone foiling. They will take off down the line and yes, you can pump and you can carve them, no worries. So when it comes to pumping, you really need to keep those HPS wings moving really fast. So pumping and prone riding absolutely bsc and i know some people might disagree i have heard of people that really love the hps for prone riding as well so if you're riding those open ocean swells that are all about high speed or if you're toe foiling absolutely the hps will work for you there but if you like that more traditional prone surf style where you want to stay close to the power of the wave and you want to carve and use the waves power a little bit more the bsc range is probably a little bit more suited for that all right so let's have a little closer look at the hps now and i'm going to jump in and start off with my favorite which is the hps 700. okay so the hps 700 here 
um, really became a favourite for me for wing foiling. It has the surface area of 890 square centimetres and when I first wing foiled with this wing I found that it had absolutely no limits for speed, it just would go faster and faster. It doesn't have crazy amounts of lift which is absolutely perfect for wing foiling. So as you're going faster it's not actually generating too much lift. You can handle the lift, you'll just go faster. So and being a small wing if you're into freestyle and jumping which I don't do a great deal of but I like to do a few little jumps here and there um, it's nice to have that smaller front wing there so you don't have too much going on underneath you. So HPS 700 absolutely epic for wing foiling for people of my size. If you're into your toe foiling, the HPS 700 is absolutely perfect for that as well. So I have a couple of larger wings in the HPS range. I've got the 830 here. So what I tend to do is go one size up if the wind is a little on the light side or if the waves aren't that big and I wanna maybe do a little bit of downwinding or riding some swells, I'll go for a larger wing. So this is the HPS 830, which has the surface area of 1,014 square centimeters. So I'll grab this HPS 830 when, if that wind's a little bit light, or if it's more of a flat water session where you wanna ride those wind swells and link up a few downwinders, the HPS 830 works really well for me. I'd also probably recommend this if you're into wing foiling and if you're a little larger than me around the 75 kilo mark, this would be a super sick wing for you for wing foiling. All right, then we've got this guy. This is the largest of the HPS that I own. It is the 880. So the HPS 880, 1,112 square centimetres. Uh, this is my large downwind wing now. So if I'm downwinding on the wing, I'm taking this one with me. It's just got glide forever. It's absolutely epic. Still pretty manoeuvrable. So if I'm linking it up and if there's the odd swell or a wave, I can definitely still throw this thing around. The glide on these things is absolutely crazy. Once you hit that top speed and just back off the power, this thing will just keep going for ages. So you're jibing and tacking, you're getting a lot of extra glide time. So it allows you to get that done without dropping you too early. So for the larger riders, wing foiling, HPS 880, really good choice. And then down at the bottom end of the scale, we've got this little guy, which I've only had the chance to ride a couple of times, but this is the HPS 650 with a tiny surface area of 669 square centimetres now. This I've ridden on the wing foil. Again, it is just limitless with speed. There's almost no top end on any of these HPS wings. So if you're all about going fast, this is it for you. And I've got to say, Toe foilers, guys that are chasing really big lumps and looking at going super fast, this is going to be a choice for sure. It doesn't have crazy amounts of lift. It's totally manageable um, for those fast moving open ocean swells. There's probably no better choice at the moment than the HPS 650. Uh, this is definitely something for you. Or wing foiling when you're super powered, if you've got lots of wind and you've got enough energy, HPS 650. So when I get the chance to go toe foiling and things like that, I'm gonna be grabbing this. And again, when it's super windy on the wing, this is something that I'll be reaching for. Okay, and you might remember in my previous video, I had the uh, secret unidentified wing. Well, this is it here. There was actually a prototype 990, which I was sent over to give a go. Um, now, to be honest, it's probably more wing than a lightweight rider like myself needs, but nevertheless, super fun trying this thing out. The super high aspect ratio of this, just so much glide, so much top speed. I actually rode it wing foiling and proning. So when I proned on it, uh, not the most maneuverable for prone riding when I wanted to throw it around. And, it, and again, that probably is more a reflection of my lightweight size. But these really high aspect wings, so much fun wing foiling downwinding. Those of you that want maximum efficiency, specifically with your wing foiling, I think, you look at something like this. So yeah, that was the big secret wing, the 990 prototype. Had a ball riding this thing, definitely fun to play with. Um, and I'll keep it in my quiver for those days when it's time to do a crazy downwinder or something like that, you grab something like this. So yeah, been fun trying this thing out. Um, and I'll save that for another day. So to summarise on everything we've looked at, we've got the PNG Pump and Glide series, we have the BSC, which is the Broad Spectrum Carve, uh, the HPS High Performance Speed series. Okay, so one of the main questions I get with this whole batch of Axis wings is people looking for one wing to do it all. Now, if you're looking at just one wing to try and cover everything, I'd probably steer you in the direction of the BSC wings, the Broad Spectrum Carve. Uh, they're probably the best all-rounder in the series. They do have amazing prone performance as I said before and yeah they are really great for wing foiling as well. 
if you're 100% purely into wing foiling and nothing else, I'm steering you towards the HPS, the high performance speed. Um, absolutely perfect for wing foiling. Like I said, there is no top end maximum on these. You can just go as fast as you like and these wings will handle. They don't have an overabundance of lift, which is great for winging. You don't want to start hitting that top speed and then just getting boosted out of the water. So as a general rule, I'm saying HPS for wing foiling. BSC is my choice for prone. If you're a learner and just getting into foiling and you're finding your feet and really wanting to learn how to pump and dial that in, um, I'm recommending the PNG Pump and Glide series. So in the perfect world, I think you'd have one or two wings, maybe even three across this whole series. Um, for me, BSCs for my prone riding. I have the HPS for winging and a couple of different size variations in there. Um, if you get the chance to demo them, definitely do that and find what's right for you. And as I said, guys, if I've missed anything or if you have any further questions about any of this stuff, shoot me a message, drop a comment below. I'm always happy to answer back and help you guys out. I get super excited seeing people like unlock the code to what's best for them with foiling. And like I said, I'm lucky enough to be able to try quite a lot of wings. So um, hopefully I can help you out. And yeah, I'm looking forward to doing another video with you guys and seeing you all on the water. So I'll catch you soon. Thanks heaps.